Hey guys, Shane Starnes with DroidModerX.com. Today I'm going to install CyanogenMod 10.1 on my HTC One. This should be a pretty simple process. I'm not going to cover the ROM in depth. That will be for another day. I will save uh, the full review for another day, but we'll go ahead and boot into CyanogenMod 10 and look around, see what's up. We're going to get rid of this HTC Sense 5. Some of you guys are loving this. Some of you guys are hating Sense 5. Uh, myself, I like it. It's okay. Uh, but I do prefer an AOSP ROM uh, or just stock Android on like a Nexus device. Most of you guys that watch this channel are like that. Well, let's go ahead and get started. You can find the link for the ROM in the description below. And we'll go ahead and turn the device off. So right now I'm running Android Revolution HD. So it includes uh, an option to reboot into recovery. If you do not have this option, you can reboot and then hold the volume down to work your way into TeamWin Recovery Project, Clockwork Mod Recovery, whatever you have installed. We'll go ahead and reboot into recovery now. If you're coming from stock rooted Android uh, Sense 5, whatever, you'll want to be sure to back up that stock ROM so that you can restore it later if you get tired of CyanogenMod 10.1 or if you just want to get back to uh, stock for any reason whatsoever, be sure to make a backup. Uh, we'll go ahead and wipe. TeamWin Recovery Project 2.5.0.0 includes a full wipe of data cache and Dalvik cache. You don't have to go in and wipe those separately anymore. You can just swipe to wipe all three at once. When that's finished, we'll go back, back again, we'll install. You're looking for the CyanogenMod 10, the latest nightly, and also G apps. Be sure to download the G apps as well. You don't want to forget those, so we'll go ahead and download. I will go to download, select CyanogenMod 10, swipe to flash. And as soon as that finishes, we'll go back and install the G apps. So be sure that that is what you're installing and go ahead and swipe to flash. When all that's finished we will reboot system and we should boot into CyanogenMod 10.1. So like I said before I'm not doing a full review today I will save that for another day uh, but what we'll do is just kind of walk around in CyanogenMod 10 and get a feel for it how it differs from Sense 5. Most of you guys know it's going to be a totally different experience which is a good thing. So as soon as this boots up, I'll go ahead and sign in, and we'll take a look at CyanogenMod 10.1. So here we are, we're booted into CyanogenMod 10.1 on the HTC One, and what you basically get with this ROM is a totally vanilla Android 4.2.2 experience. Uh, this is the Nexus experience on the HTC One. This is kind of the perfect device for this, in my opinion. We have a 5-inch 1080p display, and everything just looks really fantastic on this. So we'll go ahead and jump into settings. We'll go to about phone. And we'll check the Android version as 4.2.2. Of course we're running CyanogenMod 10.1 and we're on the 518 Nightly. There have been other Nightly since then. This is just the one that I downloaded a couple of days ago. So you see that we're running Android 4.2.2. And that's just a little Easter egg that comes with 4.2.2. Of course, with your device fully debloated, it should perform a whole lot faster, smoother. Uh, you should get better battery life. Of course, you have all kinds of custom modifications. Uh, you have launcher, lock screen settings, theme settings, and system settings. All kinds of different stuff that you can do. Of course, I will be. Uh, doing my full review on CyanogenMod 10.1 for the HTC One. If you've ever run CyanogenMod 10.1, then you pretty much know what's going on with this ROM. You're just getting a pure stock Android experience. Uh, on this phone, it is amazing. But anyways, guys, that has been CyanogenMod 10, how to install on the HTC One. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to click the like button, subscribe to this channel for more coverage on this device, as well as the Galaxy S4 and all other devices that I cover. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Once again, thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.